I'm up here in Detroit, sitting outside of Detroit Diesel, waiting on a fucking trip number. Uh, my company gave me the wrong bill number to pick up with, and I'm waiting for an hour and 35 minutes for them to get me the correct one. You know, when you get a hold of your dispatch, they have to get hold of the customer service representative from the company and then they have to figure out what you need and then get back to them and then they have to get back to us. It's bullshit. Um, you know, another guy from my company went by and fucking got right through. So, I mean, I don't know why they, they didn't send me the right number, but they didn't. Uh, the bill number they gave me isn't even a bill number, you know, usually it's like, you know, one, two, three, or a one, three, two, like they all start with the same thing and this isn't even a number that they use. So I don't know what the hell they were thinking. some uh, house blend Virginia Flake from Smokedale up in Wisconsin and of course the Viking my only pipe need to do my fingernails oh. a new message has arrived well, let's Home. see what they have to Messaging. say CSR is damn I'm just trying to find the number an hour and a half they've been trying to whatever um, I wanted to get down to so I'm going through Columbus hometown for uh, you know to get down there and it's Sunday I was trying to get back into town before all, all the smoke shops closed so I wanted to pick up some some tobacco um, hopefully gonna be doing a box opening soon uh, I get paid tomorrow and uh, I'm going to have some extra cash, so I'm going to probably place an order. Wait, no. Tuesday. I get paid on Tuesday. Now I'm thinking today's Monday. Um, and when I get that, I'll put it on here, show you guys what I ordered, and start telling you what I think of it. Um, yeah, if you ever get up through Wisconsin, uh, Smokedale, I think it was in... I think it was Hudson, Wisconsin. Um, the cigars there are really cheap. Uh, some of the cheapest I found in the country. Um, the tobacco was a little bit, like compared to online, it was a little bit. Uh, all right, um, a little bit overpriced compared to online, but it wasn't too bad. They got good prices there. Hell of a selection, man. They got a huge, huge thing. I mean, the cigarettes, e-liquids, uh, cigars. I fucking had two walk-in humidors, like full-size walk-in humidors. It was crazy. And, uh, you know, a good bit of pipe stuff. Um, but, yeah, you know, I got probably... Eh, four or five ounces of tobacco left. I got uh, five different kinds, but you know, you can never have enough. And uh, I want to start my collection going, you know. And you know, I got plenty of space under my bed, so I'd really like to have it completely full of uh, you know, tins and mason jars and all kinds of wonderful stuff. So. Heading down to uh, Troutman, North Carolina. I'm ready to get back out west, man. Normally, I don't run the East Coast. I usually, the, what they'll do is I'll leave Columbus, and uh, you know, when I go off, come off of home time, I leave Columbus. They'll send me somewhere down south uh, between you know North Carolina and Louisiana or Texas. Like they'll send me down south, and then I go out west. And uh, well, I guess. I don't know if it's this way or... Th I don't know which way is west of you guys, but... Usually I'll head out west, um, and I'll run around California, Nevada, Utah, uh, New Mexico, um, sometimes Wyoming and, and uh, Arizona through there, but mostly I'll run the, the southwest, and I'll run around out there for 
three or four weeks and then I'll start working my way back home and I'll come home for two, three, four days and do it all over again. I only come home about once every four to six weeks. You know, I stay out on the road a lot. So that's why um, I'm wanting to, while I'm close to home, is, uh, you know, set my home time out right around the same time that my package is going to be getting there so I can run, you know, run home, grab it, have be stocked up because um, running out of cigars on the road would always suck because you know I'd have to find somewhere close I'd have to ask them what kind of selection they have I have to ask them if there's somewhere close by that I can even fit my semi into you know and then uh, I was in uh, Santa Fe New Mexico actually this hat you're always seeing me wear uh, the guy at this shop gave me this hat um, this shop was awesome. The lounge in there was amazing. It's uh, if you sign up. It's a 24/7. You can get in with your little key fob. But I was parked on a residential street on a side of the street that had no parking signs all the way down it. Um, and it was a tractor and trailer and uh, parking enforcement. Luckily, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. I was sitting there because usually I'll just grab my shit and leave. This time I had a little time, so I was sitting there hanging out and. Uh, I had just fired up my second cigar and um, fucking parking enforcement's out there taking pictures of my truck. So I ran out there real quick and talked to him and uh, he said, is this your truck? I said, yeah, man, I'm just getting ready to leave. And, uh, you know, well, you can move it now and save yourself a ticket. And I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm leaving now. <laughs> you know, I just told him that, but he was cool about it. He let me go. Um, but basically the point is it is a bitch to get in some places. I'm usually end up having to park somewhere where I'm not supposed to be, you know, just run in and grab my stuff and leave. So it's easier to, to just stock up before I leave home. But, um, I guess I'll give you guys an update when, uh, I got something better to talk about. You guys take it easy. Instagram, NWT417. It's my travel photos. Check it out. And, uh, Take it easy, guys. Till next time.